so got a uh ended up getting a trailer me and my grandpa went in together and got a trailer and there it is it's pretty nice it's a 20 foot dovetail it'll pull the arc 7 just as good as i need it to and uh my truck is actually as you can see by the bumpers laying around it's actually at the body shop right now i just took it this morning to get new cab corners put in and it's going to get repainted again i had it repainted about a year and a half ago but the paint is not doing good on it so it's getting redone but uh but this is the trailer here it's brand new it's got removable fenders so that'll be nice at the track i can just pull the fender off and be able to get in and out of the car pretty easy and i picked up a winch for it that i need to mount and i'm gonna try to make a mount for it um they make a cradle mount that basically uses a like a hitch trailer hitch style mounting and i'm gonna try to put that on there so i can put it take it off and on as i need it so it won't get stolen or whatever but that's the hitch there it's a smitty built 9500 pound rated winch here's the all this stuff the control box and wiring and everything i'm gonna try to mount the control box and the toolbox on the tongue kind of out of the weather even though i think it is weather sealed and uh what are you doing remy and try to get it out of the elements as much as i can so it'll last a long time and get it easy to unhook but i think if i get me a little piece of square stock enough for that trailer hitch to come in i think i can weld it dead center here and just have the hitch or the winch right here where it'll pull a car up and i can unhook it if i need to and i can run the wiring around and just have a toolbox here where i can put tools in the control box and everything to measure this see how about how wide it is and get something that'll fit it pretty good but i think that'll work out good definitely help because i know that i'm gonna bust that stock rear end in that car probably sooner than later if i keep taking it to the track this year and uh it is not gonna be pretty so i'd rather not have to push it up on the trailer i'd rather drag it up on the trailer with a winch so it'd be a whole lot easier but we'll have to see talked about in another video how i was going to mount the winch on the trailer got it mounted on there went and bought some angle iron from the uh tractor supply store i'm gonna try to stiffen this bracket up a little bit this is a smitty built 9500 uh, xrc 9500 pound rated winch and i've got a um this bracket here from tractor supply also and i actually welded it to the trailer right there and i want to do is i'm gonna cut this and make legs to go down to to here and uh hopefully keep it from doing any bending or, or tilting or anything so if it does bend it'll have something to 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 go to um i don't think it will i hope it don't but um i don't want it to get time to have to use it and then it start bending on me and we have to figure out something on the fly to fix it so i'm gonna try to go ahead and get that done today my dad came over helped me lift up the winch and put it on there um but i, plan, I don't plan on unbolting the winch because i can't lift it anyways not supposed to but uh i'm gonna try to get the uh legs made and i'm gonna try to weld them weld them to the bottom here and then have two legs coming and then just use that this as like a kind of like a footer and then just have it flush up against that but We'll see how it works and uh, I'll uh, try to film it along the way.
boom. All right, so here it is all mounted and painted. Still trying to figure out if I'm gonna mount this control box in a toolbox on the front or what. I might just leave it like it is and just get a cover for it. Um, I think it'd be easier. But uh, this is it. I wasn't real happy with the first rendition, so I, I mean I was, but I, I wanted it braced up a little bit more. I was afraid that with it pulling like this, it would, it would bend this thing down, so I put these braces on there. Um, but overall, I think it looks pretty good for some junky backyard BS and some metal from uh, Tractor Supply. Um, trying to figure out if I'm going to actually mount a battery on the trailer or if I'm just going to uh, extend these cables out where it'll reach far enough for the uh, to go under the hood of a truck. But that's just more decisions to make. There's plus and minuses with both of them, so. But that's it for now, and uh, hopefully we can use this thing 
right now it's a truck parts holder because my truck's in the body shop but hopefully we can use this thing sometime in the spring and get some enjoyment out of it but i appreciate you watching